Hi, this is Irina. Welcome to my channel at by Angelova. Thank you for watching. This is a six by eight, like a mini stretched canvas. And I'm going to be working on a string chain pull on black negative space. My paint is kind of on the thick side, as you can tell. I don't use always um, use that thickness, but I have found it um, kind of important with the string pulls to hold the shape together. this away just while I do the negative space look how thick it is it's almost not sliding um, I would give you a recipe for my paint mix but I don't have one. I have kind of um, tried to see what works for me, so I'm really eyeballing everything. I always have. It's probably not the best thing to do. I'm the same way when I cook. Go figure. Not bad though. So, um,. This is the flow acrylic artist for, and I do like it. It mixes easily. Take it easy with the flow and throw on that one because it is already kind of flowy. Here I need some, I just took on off. When you're sliding it, make sure that um, you don't feel too much because then you're gonna have the bare edges. And I'm ready to begin. Okay. Have my paper towels, have my strings, my chains. Here is my string. It's 100% polyester. So I'm just going to show you, do you see all these little lints? Okay, I guess I'll move this aside again. So, you have to go like that first to kind of reduce the peeling of the lints. This is one of the reasons why I um, drain the string and I use the same string again. It does reduce the use. So, I'm going to begin this is one of my favorite blues by far. Ice blue metallic full card. Then you will see why. It's very gentle, very soft, yet shimmery. And I am going to add the same string I'm going to add a white and a couple more blues that will give the um, shape that I'm going to be making a dimension almost like um, shading Now, if the colors are close, you can do that. You can just kind of dip. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend. The only reason I'm doing that right now is because I want you to see what I'm doing. But I can't be doing that over the canvas. And now I need the white. And... This is what we're trying to do. 
to get them to slide on top of another versus mixing. So almost down to the bottom, so we better hurry up with the gold. I don't want it dripping on the canvas. Whoop. And it did. Right at the end. But of course, that's how it always works. So let's see. Maybe I will grab this. I'm pulling towards me and then I'm going up to this corner to give it a nice little tail. I love it. I'm almost tempted not to do anything else with it, but of course that's not gonna happen. This is what the string looks like right now. It does have to be drained if you're going to go over that. Now, if you're gonna do something with the negative space, you can keep it as this. And maybe I will do something with the negative space. I'm not gonna go over this one now. Maybe I'll grab just a little bit from here. And I'll do the same thing, but smaller. And then you have this puddling over here. And we fix it like that. Make sure you get just the negative space. And here we go. One more time. I'm still using the same string that I began with. And there you go. This really don't need much more and I'm really seriously tempted to leave it as is. Um, I wish I was doing live so I can get an opinion most of the time on the multi strings, but um, multi layered strings. But I really, really like this. And now I'm going to mess around a little bit and possibly ruin it. Again, this is my string. See how it's dipped in different colors? Still same one. Maybe I will do this. Okay, that's something. And I think now I'm gonna do just a little one right here. I'm not doing anything with the string, I'm using the same one. And this is actually really pretty. The only thing I think I would do is grab a little bit of that, just for a little more proportion. Well, at least in my eyes, it's more proportionate like that. And now I will pull this way. It feels like it needs just a little more. I'm putting very little bit of color. I want the colors that I have here to carry through over here. And um, you don't want to soak it this time. And since I'm gonna grab a little bit of the white, I'm not gonna put any white and I'm not gonna put any gold. So even if you do it with your finger, just kinda give it just a little bit of color because this is still negative space here. And this is exactly what I was looking for. The blue here is a little more. Yes, I'm done. Beautiful. Perfect, I love it. And this is one time when I'm actually gonna stop. And um, I think it's exactly the time when I should. So. I wish this curve was going 
a little more like that but because like that the movement goes this way and while I have the big one like that it's still oh, don't do it don't do it don't do it okay you know what I'm not gonna do it I think it's fine if I put a little gold one over here might be fine right I didn't even use the chains Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm so afraid I'm gonna ruin it, but we've all been there. And the worst that can happen is, well, I'm gonna ruin it. I'm using a dog chain for this. And I'm only gonna do a little bit of gold. And I will curve. I want to put that little something here and I'll grab it and then I'll curve down. So. I didn't put any of the other colors because I would get those with the chain. And that's exactly what happened. I ruined it. But it's still not bad. It's puddling here a little bit. The one thing about the dog chain is that um, you can't really drain it. I mean, it's, it's hard. And even when you wipe it off, um, some of the color stays and it does start to blend so it's not in my opinion it's not as easy to work with as it is with the string oh gosh <sighs> the way you take this off and this happens with a chain and chain sticks down things down a little bit since it's heavier and while i love the defined stri uh, strokes that it gives you then it goes under those layers and these layers stay on the top and stay on the bottom so let's see what we're going to do about that I knew I was gonna do that, but that's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of white because I lost my white. And sometimes when you mess up a negative space, you can always just add that same color. Now, in order for this to work, um, the string has to be sliding right on top because I'm already having a lot of paint which means I have to lift it up as I'm pulling and it just pray it worked. Okay, so this is good. This is good, I like that. It's already too late for this here, so I'll do this. Okay, we're getting somewhere, right? And I'm so very tempted just to try to take this off <sighs> okay this is better i like that better i'm missing some of this blue right over here and more white so what i will do is i'm using a string no chains this is the mistake i made with the chain okay so what's gonna happen is that darker blue has to go towards the top of my string and then the lighter blue will be over here and then right above the dark blue I'm gonna put white like this. Now I'm talking this big top, but let's see what I'm actually gonna do. Because I don't want to lose this, I do like it. What I'm trying to fix is this area right here. Okay, I will take, I will take that puddle off and I think I'm going to use gold for 
pages. And I'm just gonna try to sweep it off. Ooh, okay. It needs more white. Just a little more. So um, a lot of people think that acrylic pouring is all so easy, but it's really not that easy. This is too much white. Don't need that much. And the thing about it is that you got that adrenaline feeling going because you don't get to make too many mistakes. And I kind of like that. Because when you don't get to fix things, you will run, run from your mistakes better. I like this. Okay. Take it off like that. I'm done. This time I really am. I lost the movement. Now it's not going, it's going this way. I'm very tempted to do uh, how shall I do this? Take a little bit of that white on my hair. Maybe a little more white. I'm just trying to trying to have the movement to go over here. This is me rattling the strings in the cup. a little bit of that white from over here trying to be balanced doesn't have to be perfect in any way but I'm just trying to find a good balance and that didn't work out so I will just do white I can not that much color here Now what am I going to do with that blue, since it's only here. I can't keep swiping on this side because I got a lot of paint. I really like that side. So I really don't have many options. Yeah, 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 I can be a little, a little some kind of way about it. Maybe I'll try something else. Even though this looks very dark right now, what I've done is just allow the paint to go that way, for the rest of the colors to go that way. I'm gonna grab a little more. So when metallics dry, they really come up close to the surface. Okay, this is better, I like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Have to be 
very precise of where you put this and push very gently all right Once again, there was several points where I could have stopped, but I didn't. I'm still very happy with it. Okay, now I think it's been focused more here. What happened? Oh no. Look at this blob. I don't know what happened. This was the bottom of my string, and this is why I say it can be too long if I don't mind this not, but when you get concentrated on certain parts then you forgot to pay attention to others and um, this ruined it. At some point I guess I will be checking the video, this is too much cold, to see when exactly did I do that. Alright, now that's a beauty. That is a beautiful painting, okay. Hmm. My, the wrong side of the string landed. I meant to land the gold, but the black did. So I will fix that. to add a little bit of black as black as that looks just kind of place the roll of a eraser here oh, but not really now I lost that little beautiful feathery thing I cannot swipe down that way because it's too much too much to lose to see how I can fix it. Okay, all right, I got it. Should I just let it be more white? All right, here we go. is it negative spaces right here bam ta-da Unfortunately, you know, I lost this part over here, but I think it's still really pretty. Maybe I will take a little bit of here. Oh, gosh. Okay.
this if nobody stops me, I'm gonna keep going. things there but live and learn we really don't learn I'm still very happy with how it turned out I hope you too and um this is a six by eight that took me about almost half an hour to do that doesn't include the paint mixing the setup and all that so yeah it's not that much boom bum but I um The best thing about it, this is going to try so gorgeous with the little bit of metallics that are in there. And the thing is that the work doesn't end now because I don't necessarily level them. But what I do is position them in a way that I want the layers, the colors to slide on a very, very small angle and then change that angle and have it move in another way. And this is it. Thank you for watching. I'm Irina with Arts by Angelo. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.